Yeah, if you're looking to find happiness where you ain't gotta look no more, check the YouTube channel. Look for Buddy the Borador. Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Buddy the Borador, the show where we bring you canine content on dog treats, toys, and training tips. Today we're going to be taking a look at how the human brain and how the dog's brain works and functions. Now people share many brain functions with animals, but dogs share some particular cognitive skills with us people. Scans indicate that dogs can actually process facial expressions and information that us humans give off. That means dogs like Buddy are actually able to distinguish a happy face from an angry face. Hi Buddy! Ah! Hi Buddy! Hey Buddy! I am not very happy with you. Don't you dare start falling asleep again. Again, why do you keep falling asleep? <laughs> what dogs actually interpret it from this though is a little uncertain, which is probably why Buddy licked me when I was happy and angry. Mate, you're looking gangster today. Yeah, high five. Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. <laughs> Oh no no! Studies at the University of Lincoln here in the United Kingdom have actually indicated that dogs look more to the right side of human faces than the left. With this they can actually gain the emotional state of the individual that they're looking at. This is because the left side of the human brain is more involved in emotionally charged information. Thank you for that. And with this information from the left hemisphere, it is actually displayed more so on the right side of the human face. Oh, you can't sit down there, man. Dogs actually also process sound information as well, very similarly to how humans do it. Happy sounds and tones light up the auditory cortex. Good boy, good boy. He's a good boy. Ugh. So how you speak to your dog is hugely important. High tones equal excited, affectionate, and playful. Medium tones equal everyday cues like sit and stay. Low tones equal serious or bad behavior. Memory is also a crucial aspect of your dog's life. Dogs like Buddy need a good memory for things like problem solving, smell recognition, and general learning and voice commands. With problem solving, this could be things like how to get the treats out of a Kong toy, a little bit like Buddy's doing in the clip here as he's bashing it around my kitchen floor. So with that in mind, here's a little test that you can do with your dog at home. Should we give it a name? Yeah, let's give it a name. Buddy's Memory Test! Okay, so for this memory test, you'll need a treat or toy or something like that, and of course, you'll need your dog. Step one, show your dog where you're hiding a treat or toy. Now obviously this can be in any room, but uh, just make sure you show the dog where it actually is. Step two, take your dog out of the room for one minute. And finally, step three, bring your dog back into the room to find the treat or the toy. Most dogs when they come back in the room will rely completely on their memory and not smell, so your dog should be able to go straight to wherever the lure is and they'll find it, unless your buddy who seemed to look at it like here and then completely ignore it and walk away. Let me know in the comment section how your dog did and if your dog did better than this guy here, which was pretty, pretty bad. Let me know in the comment section how your dog did. Thank you very much for watching today's episode. Subscribe for more Borodor Madness, and we'll see you next time. Say bye, buddy. Bye-bye. Yeah, if you're looking to find happiness where well, you ain't gotta look no more, check the YouTube channel. Look for Buddy the Borodor. Dog training tips I know you can use. Uh -huh. Even sell dog toys and product reviews. Uh, welcome to the channel where you know we keep it live. Buddy's here to make you smile. You just gotta subscribe.